In this video, I'll be showing you the best settings for Apple Music. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, you might have recently switched to Apple Music or you've been using it for a while, but you might not actually have the best settings. And that's because when you go on the Apple Music application, there isn't actually a settings area inside the app itself. So what you have to do is go to your settings application. From here, just scroll down until you find apps. And then from here, just go to search and type in music. You can also just like scroll down if you want to, but if you have a lot of apps, you don't want to be doing that. Then just click on music right here. Now it's going to show you all the settings for Apple Music. So all you want to do is go down to the audio section, have Dolby Atmos on, but it's going to be set to automatic initially. I have it set to always on and it always works really well, especially if you have like a device that supports Dolby Atmos. And then what you want to do is on audio quality, you know, you want to have lossless audio. And what that basically means is it preserves every single detail of the original audio, but it's going to consume more data. So if you're like out and about and stuff and you're using your mobile data, you know, you can switch these settings if you want to, because it is going to use more data. But if you have a lot of data, then you don't have to worry about this. I would definitely recommend putting it on high res lossless for the absolute best quality. For EQ, you can really just test these out because like whether you're in a car or you're using your phone speakers or whether you're using like AirPods or anything like that, you know, different ones work for different things. Late night I find works really well for your phone speakers, but also the car as well. And you could also use Travel Booster as well, but really just try all of these out and figure out which one is the best for you. But because this offers lossless quality, the sound is better than uh, what YouTube offers, even on YouTube Premium, and what Spotify offers, even on Spotify Premium, just because both those don't unfortunately offer lossless quality on any music that they have. You can even activate a crossfade if you want to, and soundcheck basically makes it so that one music track isn't super loud and the other one super low. It basically equalizes everything, which is definitely what you want, especially if you're listening to music for a long time. But then after that, just reset Apple Music and you'll be 